Castlevania may have been classed as one of the greatest platform games of all time. Originally released on the NES, this classic series from Konami spanned all the way from the NES all the way up to the Switch, with the most recent port of the Game Boy Advance games being in the Castlevania Advance Collection. In this series, you play as various members of the Belmont family at different timelines, who are all vampire killers out for Dracula's blood. With fantastic graphics, amazing soundtracks, and smooth controls, the game is a must-own if you had an NES. However, due to licensing, Sega fans weren't able to play the series until 1994 when the only Castlevania title to be officially released on a Sega platform was released. Castlevania Bloodlines or New Generation came to the Mega Drive or Genesis depending on which part of the world you were living in. In 1992, I always wondered what this game would be like if it did come out on the Sega Master System. It turns out there was a game for the Sega Master System and it was the Castlevania game we all wanted. However, this came out the same year as Castlevania on the Super Nintendo. And don't forget, the first three games had been released on NES prior to this. So let's take a look at this game and see if it's any good. Master of Darkness was one of those games on the Sega Master System that just blew my mind. It wasn't until later on that I realized how great this game is. This game absolutely nails atmosphere and is just an absolute masterpiece on the Master System. Master of Darkness is an atmospheric action game released by Sega back in 1992. Drawing unique inspiration from other popular titles at the time, it offers a unique twist on the horror genre. This is basically Sega's answer to Castlevania. In Master of Darkness, you play as Dr. Ferdinand Social, a renowned psychologist on the expert on the supernatural. London has fallen victim to an ancient evil force and it's up to Dr. Social to investigate and put an end to the terror that plagues the city. In this game, you play as Dr. Social, and Dr. Social has a, a similar weapon to the whip in Castlevania, only it's a cane. But the beauty with this is the fact that you can get multiple different weapons throughout the game. However, personally, I like the cane. I think it was just a better weapon. It creates more damage and it's just overall just a good all-rounder weapon. Dr. Social embarks on a social journey through dark alleyways, haunted mansions and eerie cemeteries. The game fe features six different stages, each with chilling enemies, challenging platforming sections and mind-bending puzzles. There are bats in this game as well, a bit like Castlevania, which are an absolute pain in the... One of the standout features of Master of Darkness is its exceptional atmosphere. The developers did a really good job in creating a Victorian era London. In the backgrounds, you can see the little out outlines of the statues. And again, just for being a Master System game, this is really, really good. The graphics, the music, the sound effects, they all work really well to give you this horror vibe. As Dr. Social, you'll encounter a variety of supernatural creatures from the classic horror literature such as vampires, zombies, werewolves. Did I mention bats as well? Each enemy has its own attack pattern, requiring precise timing and quick reflexes to defeat them. And as you play the game more, the spike of the difficulty is definitely there. Along the way, you'll collect power-ups such as health restoring items and upgrades for your cane sword. There are also secrets littered throughout the game. These hidden secrets can be a bit of a lifesaver and can really help you when your health is really low. Now, one of the things that sets Master of Darkness apart from other games in the time is the psychological aspect. Dr. Social Sanity plays a significant role in its abilities. If he takes too much damage or witnesses too many horrifying events, his sanity meter will decrease, making him more vulnerable to enemies. Master of Darkness truly captures the essence of a classic horror experience. The combination of tight controls, challenging gameplay and its atmospheric setting is a must play for any fans of the horror genre. If you're a fan of retro games or just a horror fan in general, you will absolutely have a blast with this game. Unfortunately, this game is getting quite expensive now, so unfortunately, the best way to really play this is on emulation. But I highly recommend everyone go out and check this game out. It is fantastic. So anyways, guys, that's Master of Darkness. Are you going to go check it out? Let me know. So that was the unofficial Castlevania game. However, in 2023, iFixium announced a homebrew port of the original game, stating that it is in its very early stages. However, reports from the dev team state that it will be as faithful to the original as they can make it. And it may even add some elements of Symphony of the Night, potentially one of the best Castlevania games. For Sega fans, this can't come quick enough. 
there have not been any updates from the team since January 2023 as of the recording of this video. I will leave a link in the description below and I urge you to go check that out and comment and try and find out how this game is coming along because we really need an update. But until then, I will end this video with some of the gameplay from that leak back in January of 2023. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.